So if you guys have questions, please make sure you raise them, all right? So I can answer them to the, my best of uh, my ability here. And of course, my eraser is over there. So ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like you to do is take out Uh, let's leave that up there, actually. Let's take out, uh, no, I want you to take out your uh, your radian measure. The worksheet I handed you. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of work through this definition through definition. Um, and just to kind of highlight the main points that I want to make sure that we all cover. All right, and, and then what we'll do is uh, we'll go back through and uh, have everything there for you. Pass that back, please. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, the first thing I want to talk about is let's go back and we're just going to run through this. Um, let's go through and do a little review here, first of all, about complementary and supplementary angles. So when going back, thinking of your geometry days, we had two types of angles. So you had complementary and supplementary angles, right? Does anybody remember what complementary angles were? There are two angles that? Did they get added to one angle? Close. 90. 90. So you could say x plus y equals 90 degrees. And supplementary was x plus y equaled 180. Very good, right? So you say, guys, hopefully you remember those definitions, right? Now, we're not doing those definitions, so you don't need to write those down. But they're going to be very similar, all right? Because what we're still going to be dealing with angles, but we're going to be calling our angles a little bit differently with this. Now, first of all, let's say I just wanted to find x, right? What would, how, what would be a kind of a formula I could write with x? If I just wanted to find x, I could say what? Well, um, I guess you would put um, x equals 90 degrees minus 1. Right, very good. And if I want to find x here, I do x equals 180, minus 180 degrees minus 1. Very good. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a little bit of new notation. Rather than dealing with x and y, what we're going to deal with is theta. Now, theta is a Greek symbol. x and y we commonly used in algebra, and we also use it a lot because you know we have the Cartesian coordinates with x and y axes and so forth. Well, we're going to use theta because theta is going to be very, um, it's very common in use in trigonometry, and that's exactly the, you know, what we're getting into right now. So, we're going to use theta, and theta is just going to be your variable, all right? So when a lot of times when I want to say what, um, you know, x and y, those are both variables, right? But with theta, how do I differentiate between two different angles? Well, what we can call them is 1 theta prime equals 90 minus theta. This means the exact same thing, OK? It's just this angle equals 90 minus this angle, all right? These are different angles. One's theta prime, one's theta. But they're still arbitrary. They're still variables, all right? Theta is like, it's a variable. It's not zero. It's a variable. That is my variable theta. So they're the same variable? No. That's why one has thyme, one is, one is prime, and one is theta. I put this little apostrophe. Teachers, pardon the interruption. Any students you have in class that is wearing pink, is asked to go to the courtyard at this time to have their picture taken with Jeannie Blaylock and Dr. Richardson. An announcement will be made when all students are to be back in their classroom. Thank you. OK, if you guys want to go and miss instruction, go back for her. Just go behind there, and that's fine. I'm just going to go back through what you guys need. Um, so you guys have, so do you understand a little bit of the idea of that? Yeah. Right? You have theta prime and theta. OK? <laughs> theta prime and theta. We good? We understand a little bit. It's just different variables. It's what we're going to use in trigonometry. Um, so these are going to be your two definitions of complementary angles. All right. So let's let's say I give you an angle where I say theta is equal to 30 degrees, and I say find the complementary and supplementary angles. So if I say find the complementary and supplementary angles, what are you going to do? To find this, you just do theta prime equals 90 degrees minus 30 degrees, right? And to find the supplementary, you just do theta prime equals 180 minus 
30 degrees. Does that make sense? So all you're doing is if I give you an angle and I say find the complementary and supplementary angle, to find complementary, you subtract from 90, and find supplementary, you subtract it from 180. So this answer is going to be theta prime equals 60 degrees. And this one, theta prime equals 150 degrees. Okay, So the exact same thing I've already done on the videos you know, for you. And I gave you the exact same um, explanation, I swear. But maybe I didn't go through the theta part, um, which actually I realized that probably would have made a big difference. So I'll make sure I add some of those. Yes? Mm -hmm. Alpha, beta, there's, ton, there's a lot of different. Um, so it's just yes. So what happens when it's like it has high? We'll, we're going to get to those in a second. I'm going over like the basic stuff, right? Just so you can get the idea of it, and then we'll, get, we'll go back to that. Theta. Theta. All right. Cool. Okay, that's complementary and supplementary angles. I'm actually going to stop this video and do that because I'm not going to do the whole one.